Welcome to the beautiful Weston Mission Hills Resort in Palm Springs, California, and the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Award Ceremony. Tonight, we crown the 2006 NHRA Powerade World Champions in Pro Stock Motorcycle, Pro Stock Car, Funny Car, and Top Fuel. We will also honor the drivers, teams, sponsors, and manufacturers that made this one of the most exciting racing series in 2006 motorsports. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for this evening, Bob Fry. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We had a great end of the season yesterday. The, the top fuel finale was just a, a breathtaking final round. How about a nice round of applause for the Army team? Oh, they did a great job. And, and Wally Parks is here. God bless him. Wally's 93 years old, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I went over and talked to Wally yesterday during the race. And I looked at him, and he's still so vibrant and, and alert. And I said, Wally, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. My biggest goal in life to be in as good a shape as you are when I'm your age. And he looked me in the eye, and he said, Bob, I don't know how to break this to you, but you're not in as good a shape as I am at your age. <laughs> and he was right, which was the real depressing part about it. But great to have Wally Parks here with us tonight. Just makes this a much more festive affair. We're glad to have him here. Anyway, we got some great awards to give out tonight and a lot of people to honor. It's been a magnificent season. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present the president of the National Hot Rod Association, Mr. Tom Compton. Thanks, Bob. Welcome, everyone, and thanks for attending tonight's ceremony. Tonight, we will crown our NHRA Powerade World Champions and celebrate what was truly one of the best years in NHRA history. We witnessed exciting points battles that came down to the wire quite literally last night. And we will honor first time Powerade champion, Jason Line. And now three time champion, Andrew Hines. Tied with his brother now and the one and only John Force with an unprecedented 14th NHRA Powerade World Championship. And last but not least, Tony Schumacher, who put on the most unbelievable show last night on his way to his fourth NHRA Powerade World Championship, one that will go down in history, I believe, as simply the run. Tonight it is my privilege to reflect on what has been, what I believe, one of the best runs in NHRA history. Who would have known five years ago that I would be standing up here tonight reflecting on a partnership with one of the most well-known companies in the world? The Coca-Cola Company, Coca-Cola Enterprises, and the Powerade brand brought instant credibility and financial support to NHRA and the NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series. What they have done over the last five years goes above and beyond what we could have ever imagined and has made an immeasurable impact on the sport of NHRA Powerade drag racing. Every single person in this room has benefited from this partnership. And the good news is we'll continue to do so because last year we announced an extension of our agreement all the way through at least the year 2011. But what really makes this relationship special, simply put, are the people involved. We are so fortunate to have such bright and enthusiastic people that share our vision to grow and build this great sport. Without their unwavering support, we wouldn't be where we are now and where we see ourselves going in the future, which is a very good place, I believe. You know, but before I thank the whole company, I've got to thank Ben Riling, who's been with us from the very beginning, has been through thick and thin, out in the trenches with us. Thank you so much for everything over the last five years, Ben. <laughs> I 
Also, I want to thank everyone at the Coca-Cola Company, Coca-Cola Enterprises, and the Powerade brand for their ongoing commitment to NHRA that never ceases. I'm very excited tonight to have the pleasure to introduce to you a very special guest from Coca-Cola Enterprises. She plays an integral role in the retail activation programs that are designed to bring NHRA and the NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series directly to consumers, a key initiative in our continued su success going forward. So without further ado, let's welcome the Vice President of Food Services and Specialty Retail at Coca-Cola Enterprises, Kathy Horgan. And thank you, and uh, good evening, everyone. It's my honor and pleasure to be here tonight and deliver you this message on behalf of everyone at the Coca-Cola Company and Coca-Cola Enterprises. And it's a message of congratulations and thanks. First, a thank you to everyone here tonight and those at home for making this Powerade's fifth season with the National Hot Rod Association a special one. It's only fitting that a sport decided by split seconds comes down to the final two events of the season in dramatic fashion. The excitement of these final races will be a part of the sport for years to come with the advent of the countdown to the championship. Our thanks to the fans, owners, pit crew teams, track operators, safety safari team, ESPN, and the numerous sponsors. Your collective dedication and commitment to the sport make it successful. Everyone have a great evening, a safe and wonderful holiday, and we'll see you next year. Thank you. When we return, we will present the first of our NHRA Powerade World Championship trophies when the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Award Ceremony continues. Your three medium Pizza Hut pizzas. That's only five bucks each, right? Yes, sir. Thanks. No. Thank you. Welcome back to the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Award Ceremony and the Pro Stock Motorcycle Awards. What a marvelous season it was in 2006. Now, stop me if you've heard this before, but this year the Pro Stock Motorcycle competitors really outdid themselves. And the number of teams, the quality of the competition, the record-setting performances, the barrage of six-second runs made it one of the best years ever in the history of the class. Toss in the fact that the championship wasn't decided until yesterday, and that just adds to the overall excitement of the Pro Stock Motorcycle class. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for the best drivers in the Pro Stock Motorcycle class of 2006. And now let's meet drivers, numbers 10 through 2 in this year's Powerade Pro Stock Motorcycle Class. Number 10. This rider broke a 35 race winless streak with a dramatic victory in the season's final event, Pomona, California. A veteran, he also managed to claim his eighth Powerade top 10 points finish. Please welcome the rider of the Team Teague Suzuki, Craig Treble. Number 9. A runner-up finish in Redding and semi-final efforts at Denver and Las Vegas placed this former Powerade champion back in the top 10 for the seventh time in his career. Please welcome the rider of the performance machine Suzuki, Gino Scali. Number eight. This rider emerged on the scene with the number one qualifying performance in St. Louis. Wisconsin native also posted semi-final finishes at Englishtown, Sonoma, and Brainerd to record his first career Power 8 top 10 finish. Please welcome the rider of the Howe Speed Shot Fuel, Tom Bradford. Number seven. This talented Indiana rider scored a victory in Chicago and posted a number one qualifying effort at the AC Delco Gator Nationals in Florida to claim his second straight Power 8 top 10 points finish. Please welcome the rider of the Trimtex Fuel, Ryan Schnitz. Number six. After surviving a freak off-track accident that could have ended her career last season, this rider rebounded with a victory at Reading and a runner-up finish in Englishtown to post her career-best Power 8 Series points finish. Please welcome the rider of the Geico Suzuki, Karen Stouffer. 
number five. This North Carolina rider earned an emotional victory at the Mac Tools U.S. Nationals and also claimed to win in Englishtown. Two number one qualifying positions and a runner-up effort at Columbus were also season highlights for this second-generation racer. For the first time in the Power 8 Top 10, the Torco Skull Gear Buell rider, Matt Smith. Number four. With a category-leading five number one qualifying efforts, including several runs in the six-second zone, this rider emerged as a championship contender in 06. He posted victories at St. Louis and Sonoma. Please welcome for the second time to the Power 8 Top 10, the rider of the drag specialties SNS Buell, Chip Ellis. Number three. This three-time champ opened the season with three victories in the first four races and appeared to be on a runaway course for her fourth series crown. She also claimed a runner-up effort at the Mac Tools U.S. Nationals on her U.S. Army Suzuki. Her 11th top 10 appearance, please welcome Angel Sampei. Number two. Continuing the great success he's had in the two-wheel category during the last decade, the rider of the U.S. Army Suzuki raced to victories at Atlanta and Brainerd and posted runner-up efforts at three tracks en route to his ninth consecutive Power 8 Top 10 finish. Please welcome Antron Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, nice round of applause for drivers 2 through 10 in the Pro Stock Motorcycle Class of 2006. It all started in Gainesville, Florida. It didn't end until the final race of the season yesterday when this great young man was crowned champion again. Let's take a look at the championship season. The third champion. A lot of hard work was put into this championship, and like they all say, it takes a year, and luckily my team was able to pull it off this year. They gave me the bike that I needed to have to win this third championship, and just to be able to tie my brother really makes that much of a difference in my family sitting at that Thanksgiving table. <laughs> in 2001, I sat my dad down and told him that I wanted to ride a pro stock motorcycle, and he looked me in the eye for a second and said, if you're really serious about it, you need to build your own bike. And Luckily, he uh, provided me with the chassis and gave me all the tutelage to, to put that thing together and get it down the track. Um, as soon as that bike was done, he told me, okay, it's time to go. Let's go testing. And I went out there and made a few laps. And uh, after that, he told me, okay, Bandemir Speedway, it's our home track. That's where you need to start. And to be here tonight with my third NHRA Powerade Championship is just amazing. It, it's unbelievable to me that that my family and my teammates can uh, support me 100% in doing this. And I really need to thank my mom, dad, Matt, Jen, my sister, Joe, my brother-in-law, Scott, Ray, and GT, my teammate. Um, I can honestly say that I have the best team in NHRA Pro Stock Motorcycle right now. I also really need to thank my wife, Tanya, who couldn't be here tonight. She's back at home working, and she's been a wonderful companion and wife and supported me 100% along the way for the past three years. Uh, I know it would have been a lot more difficult to win this third championship without the support from Harley Davidson and uh, the, uh, the people all in the background, like Willie G. Davidson, everybody involved with the Screaming Eagle Racing Program, uh, people led by Scott Miller and Ad Ann Peluso. It just uh, it's, it goes on down the line, and I just can't thank everybody enough. And it, it's such a great feeling to be a part of this program. I just really need to say thanks to my dad and Terry. They put their lives into, into motorcycle racing and, and all the different sports. And their work has definitely paid off. And this championship is another tribute to what success and hard work can pay off to, and can, can do. Um, I really owe everything to them. And uh, I really need to congratulate all the other NHRA Powerade champions. I just really can't say thanks enough and ever, to everybody, NHRA Powerade Drag Racing. and. Uh, I'm a three-time champion. Yes! <laughs>
Coming up, Pro Stock Car, Funny Car, and Top Fuel. When the 2006 RA Powerade Drag Racing Series Award Ceremony continues. Back to the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Awards Ceremony and the Pro Stock Car Awards. At the start of the season, and actually to be completely honest, at the end of last season, a lot of people thought they knew how the Pro Stock Championship would play out this year. And you know what? A lot of people were wrong. One thing that everyone did know was the fact that this year the Pro Stock class, the racers, the men and women and the teams would continue to give us some of the best racing on the drag racing season. I mean, after all, just look at that Motel 6 award to see how tough it is just to win a round, let alone a race or a championship. To simply qualify for a race in Pro Stock was quite an accomplishment. And to make it to the stage this weekend is something that all of these teams, owners and drivers, can be proud of. So at this moment, let's give a nice round of applause to the teams and the drivers who finished numbers 10 through 2 in the ultra-competitive world of Pro Stock. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the Power 8 top 10 drivers in Pro Stock this year. Number 10. This veteran driver raced to runner-up finishes at Columbus and Sonoma to post his first career Power 8 top 10 points finish. Please welcome the driver of the Kendall Oil Dodge Stratus, V Gaines. Number 9. A mid-season crew chief change helped this driver finish strong and post victories at Dallas and Las Vegas in October. Other season highlights for The Kid include a top qualifying performance in Chicago and two semifinal finishes. The driver of the Mopar Dodge Stratus, Richie Stevens. Number eight. This former super stock dominator had his best season behind the wheel of a pro stocker in 06. Runner-up finishes at Atlanta and Reading, and four semifinal finishes, he posts his second straight Power 8 top 10 points finish. Please welcome the driver of the Piranha Z Pontiac GTO, Greg Stanfield. Number seven. This former two-time world champ nearly made another run to glory in 06, moving to second in the point standing by midseason. The Virginia native posted a victory at Columbus and a runner-up finish at Houston to lock his 14th career top 10 finish. The driver of the Sea Ray Boats Pontiac GTO, Jim Yates. Number six. A victory in Seattle gave this Tennessee driver enough momentum to post consecutive semifinal finishes at the next four races. He powered his team Mopar Dodge Stratus to two number one qualifying efforts to post his best Power 8 season points finish ever. Please welcome Alan Johnson. Number five. After a slow start to the season, this veteran driver charged to victories at Las Vegas, Chicago, and Memphis to keep his impressive streak of 14 consecutive Power 8 top 10 points finishes alive. Please welcome the driver of the AC Delco Chevy Cobalt, Kurt Johnson. Number four. This Oklahoma-based driver made a return to the Power 8 top 10 this year after losing his position the past two. Victories at Houston and St. Louis and runner-up finishes at the Winter Nationals in Dallas, he fielded one of the most consistently quick cars on the track. The driver of the Young Life Pontiac GTO, Mike Edwards. Number three. This young driver had another outstanding season, posting victories at Atlanta, Topeka, Denver, and Brainerd. He also claimed runner-up finishes at Las Vegas, English Town, and the U.S. Nationals. Making his third Power 8 Top 10 points appearance, the driver of the Skull Gear Chevy Cobalt, Dave Conley. Number two. The three-time defending world champ turned on the gas in the late season charge, but couldn't catch his teammate in time to win a fourth. He posted victories at the Winter Nationals, Mac Tools, U.S. Nationals, and Reading. Claim his sixth Power 8 top 10 finish. The driver of the Summit Racing Pontiac GTO, Greg Anderson. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, drivers 2 through 10 in the class of 2006 for Pro Stock Car. Like I said a little earlier in the show, everyone thought that they knew how the Pro Stock season would begin and end with the Summit Racing Pontiac taking the championship. Well, they were right. But everyone who thought it would be Jason Line and not Greg Anderson, please raise your hand. Ken Black, put your hand down. Kim Anderson, put your hand down. 
Amazing. Anyway, this driver had a career year, and he joins a very select group of drivers who have won both Lucas Oil Sportsman World Championships and now a Powerade Professional Championship. Before we bring him out, let's take a look at the record-breaking year for Mr. Jason Lyon. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2006 Powerade Pro Stock Champion, Mr. Jason Lyne. This is definitely quite an honor to be standing here tonight as the NHRA 2006 Powerade Pro Stock Champion. And I want to thank everyone from Powerade and the Coca-Cola Company for being such great supporters of NHRA drag racing. I also want to thank Tom Compton, Graham Light, and their fine staffs at NHRA for providing us with the great venues in which to compete. This is the fourth championship for KB Racing Program, and uh, tonight I'm really accepting this trophy on behalf of a great racing team made up of some tremendously talented, uh, hard-working individuals that don't know the word quit. The success and direction of this race team starts at the top, uh, and none of our championships would have been possible without, without the team owners, Ken and Judy Black, and uh, Kenny and Michelle Black. and the entire Vegas General Construction KB Framers organization. Rob Downing and Jeff Purley, they are two of the finest crew chiefs in this sport and provide our Summit Racing Pontiac GTOs with terrific race day setups uh, that keep, keep them fast and straight. I want to thank all of the sponsors and the companies that support the KB Racing effort. First and foremost, Summit Racing Equipment, whose flag we fly proudly on both Greg Scar and mine. Ray Tadko, Paul Sergi, Jeff Winters, Kirk Heinbuck, thank you so much for everything you do for our race team. You have been not only a great sponsor, but, a sponsor, but also an outstanding partner during these, these championship seasons. I also want to thank Fred Simmons and Dan Engel from GM Racing for technical and engineering support second to none. Tom Gideon from GM Racing Safety, and Steve Sytek, Jeff Romack, and Pontiac for their strong support of the KB Racing Program and their support of the NHRA Powerade Drag Racing. John Aiden, Tony Merritt, and Carla Hawk from Mac Tools, thank you for the best tools in motorsports. I also want to thank my mom and dad, Maxine and Lawrence, for instilling in myself and my brothers and sister a love of drag racing and a strong work ethic where anything could be accomplished as long as you are willing to, to work hard and put in the extra effort. It takes an awful lot uh, to put up with the long hours and many days away from home that allows us as professional racers to pursue uh, the dreams uh, that we have and to win these championships. And it couldn't be done without the support and help we receive from our families. Thank you, Cindy, for your patience and for being a, a loving wife and a wonderful mother. And uh, thank you, Jack, for giving me a, a fresh new perspective on what really matters in life. So I love you. Tonight, the KB Racing Team will celebrate a championship, but tomorrow we'll be uh, on our way back to North Carolina in preparation for the next season, with only 12 weeks to go uh, before we return to Pomona. Uh, we'll be doing everything we can to, to try to defend our title. Thank you to everyone. When we return, more of the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Awards Ceremony and a special tribute to Barbara Parks. Welcome back to the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Awards Ceremony. Special awards presented earlier this evening. The future stars of the sport, the seven national champions of the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. The 2006 NHRA Manufacturers Cup, won this year by Pontiac and accepted by Fred Simmons, GM Racing, Marketing Manager Drag Racing. This is Pontiac's 10th NHRA Manufacturers Cup. The Automobile Club of Southern California's Road to the Future Award. This year, given to J.R. Todd, the 2006 NHRA Powerade Rookie of the Year. 
the Full Throttle NHRA Pit Crew Championship Season Awards. Recognizing the most consistently quick teams during qualifying throughout the year were presented to Kalidas, Mac Tools top fuel team, led by crew chief Ron Tobler. Forces Castrol GTX Funny Car Team, led by Austin Coyle. Greg Anderson's Summit Racing Pro Stock Team, led by Rob Downing and Jeff Furley. And Chip Ellis's Drag Racing Specialties SNS Buell Pro Stock Motorcycle Team, led by Ken Johnson and George Bryce. The 2006 NHRA Pro Owners Award was presented to winners Don Schumacher in the top fuel category, Josh in the Funny Car Class, and Ken Black in the Pro Stock Ranks. Early this year, the drag racing world, our world, suffered a great loss when Barbara Parks passed away. Barbara was a vibrant, vital part of the drag racing world, our world, and she'll be greatly missed. From early days at Hot Rod Magazine to the decades that she spent at the side of NHRA founder Wally Parks, Barbara was as much a part of the NHRA and drag racing as top fuel cars and Pomona. And even though she was an integral part of the success in the sport for decades, she stayed in the background, stayed at Wally's side, ever determined, ever influential. As Tom Compton said, as the years go on, we mourn the passing of many legends in the sport, but few had the dedication, the passion, and the impact on drag racing as Barbara Parks. I'm Barbara Parks, mm -hmm. and I've worked for Wally since he formed NHRA in 1951. And I was his secretary at a Hot Rod magazine when he formed NHRA. I typed all the first membership cards and answered the mail. I love NHRA and the sport, particularly the people involved. I must confess, I know very little about cars. It's great to have you here with us this evening, and I know how much this she meant to you and meant, meant to all of us. Well, I'm sure that all of you who are here know that I was very, very fortunate to have been able to spend 50 years with Barbara, and every one of those years was devoted to NHRA. She often did say, as you saw here earlier, that she didn't care about the cars. It was the people that impressed her. And she, I think, was responsible for the people part of the development. Many of the things that happened in our early years, she was totally devoted to this sport and all of you people, and you're a good representation here of what it was that she loved. And uh, so once again, I, I want to thank you for sharing in this tribute. We miss her, but her spirit's going to last for a long, long time. So thank you very much. to the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Awards Ceremony and the Funny Car Awards. You know, there are some things that are constants in life, like, well, death and taxes and the fact that the Funny Car Eliminator will be really exciting every year. And this year, the Funny Car drivers took the chase right down to the final race of the season before a champion could be crowned. Hey, wait, that's the same thing I said last year, isn't it? I see a pattern developing here for the Funny Cars. Anyway, it was another fantastic season for the Funny Car team. And at this time, let's hear it for the drivers who finished 2 through 10 in the Funny Car class of 2006. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet drivers 2 through 10 in the Powerade Funny Car chase this year. Number 10. 
This former world champ returned to the winner's circle after a five-year drought by hitting the jackpot in Las Vegas in April. He also claimed runner-up finishes in Denver and Richmond to claim his 10th Power 8 Top 10 points finish. The driver of the advanced auto parts Chevy Monte Carlo, Cruz Edregon. Number 9. A victory at Seattle and runner-up finishes at Columbus and the prestigious Mac Tools U.S. Nationals helped this driver, the Matco Tools Dodge Charger, from his 12th consecutive Power 8 Top 10 points finish despite sitting out the final five races. Please welcome Whit Baysmore. Number 8. A fast start to the season gave this driver enough momentum to pull off his second Power 8 Top 10 points finish. His season was highlighted by a victory in Reading. Please welcome the driver of the blue Checker Shucks Craig and Chevy Monte Carlo, Phil Burkhart. Number seven. The defending Funny Car World Champ rebounded from a tough start and rallied to post a victory at Denver and runner-up finishes at Englishtown and Brainerd. He claimed three semifinal finishes in his Mopar Oakley Dodge Charger to earn his ninth Power A Top 10 finish. Please welcome Gary Selzy. Number six. With victories at Phoenix and Brainerd and number one qualifying honors at Chicago and Reading, this driver had one of the most consistently quick funny cars of the season. Making his ninth career top 10 points finish, please welcome the driver of the Skull Chevy Monte Carlo, Tommy Johnson Jr. Number five. With victories in Atlanta, Columbus, and St. Louis, this former world champ was a threat to win all season long. His Q Racing Chevy Monte Carlo also posted runner-up efforts at Sonoma and Memphis to claim a spot in the Power 8 Top 10 for the 11th time. Please welcome Tony Pedregon. Number four. A late season surge that included a victory at Richmond helped this former rodeo star lasso another Power 8 Top 10 finish. He earned an emotional victory at his hometown race in Sonoma and posted three number one qualifying efforts in his Castrol Syntec Ford Mustang. Please welcome Eric Medlin. Number three. Driver's quest to win a Funny Car World Championship intensified at the beginning of the season as he raced the three victories and five finals in the first six races. He also posted wins at Topeka and Englishtown to claim his ninth Power 8 Top 10 points finish. Please welcome the driver of the Brute Revolution Dodge Charger, Ron Caps. Number two. After a season opening win in Pomona, this driver went on to win the U.S. Nationals and grabbed a Wally at the famed Texas Motorplex. A category leading nine number one qualifying efforts helped last year's Road to the Future Award winner avoid a sophomore slump in his Auto Club Ford Mustang. Please welcome Robert Height. One more time, drivers two through ten in Funny Car this year in 2006. And this may come as a shock to a lot of you people, but I've been doing this for a long while, and I can actually remember when a funny car match race or attraction was like Jungle Jim going against Lou Arrington, or Kenny Bernstein and Don Prudhomme, or Kenny Bernstein and Don Schumacher. Of course, we can see that again next year. Of course, I also remember that we were here just a year ago, and I remember saying that it would be tough to beat the points chase that we had at the end of the 2005 season. Well, it was even better this year. So now, Let's take a look at the Funny Car Champion in the class of 2006. champion, this is John Force. We've got 14 championships, but that's the greatest trophy in my whole life, and I can say I had absolutely nothing to do with it. Nothing. 
I want to thank all of my sponsors, Castrol, for what you've done for me, 100 wins. Austin Coyle, you and your partner, Bernie Federley, I should get on my knees and bow down to you for what you've done for me. Because I'm just a, I'm the guy you stuck in the seat and you sent. Jimmy Proc, unbelievable how you fight the fight. Uh, John Medlin, you and your boy, unbelievable. I can't believe it. Just the team that I've created. But you know what? It's about heart. It's about Ron Capps fighting to the end. He's over it. <laughs> Robert Hyde, he's over it. And it's like, let's get ready for next year. That's how a drag racer thinks. And what I'm saying is, I'm sick of the fight. I want to be loved by everybody. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be loved. <laughs> well, you know what my goal is in life? I'm going to get my wife to love me like your wife loved you. Because that's what is king, Molly. I love this job, and I love the people in this room, because you're my lifeline. I give you all that I can give you. It's the best that I got, because I'm surrounded by the greatest people in the world. I was nothing till I met Austin Coyle. And then he taught me the road. And Bernie Federley, God bless you, Bernie. I love you so much. You know, the things you do when I go that way, and you bring me back. You know what I'm saying? You really do. And Austin, Jimmy Proc, John Medlin, Robert Hyde, I love you, Eric. And I've gone on way too long. That's how good our sponsor is. Their product's great. And I love you, Power 8 and NHRA. I love this job more than anything in life. And you know what? As bad as I am, God loves me. I believe in him. And I believe that things happen for a cause. And I've been going the wrong way. I'm still going to race, but I'm going to get my deal right. Thank you. Coming up, the fastest drivers in all of motorsports, the top fuel racers, when the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Award Ceremony continues. Come back to the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Award Ceremony and the Top Fuel Awards. Top Fuel, of course, has been part of the drag racing scene since back in, 19, uh, since back in the 1960s, and the competition seems to get better, the times get quicker, the speeds get faster, and the competition gets more intense every season. Case in point, the 2006 Top Fuel season. Just making the top 10 is something that any team can be proud of. So having said that, let's meet the drivers who finished two through 10 in Top Fuel Eliminator. And now let's meet the drivers who finished two through 10 in the class of 2006 in Top Fuel. Number 10. This rookie drove one of the most consistently quick top fuel dragsters in the 7,000 horsepower category and powered it to a runner-up finish in Memphis and semi-final efforts at Englishtown and Sonoma. Please welcome the driver of the KB Racing Dragster, Hillary Will. Number nine. This veteran driver overcame several setbacks during the season, including a spectacular crash at Bristol. He scored a popular victory in Virginia and a runner-up finish at Columbus to claim his 15th career top 10 finish. Please welcome the driver of the Framboost Dragster, Corey McLennan. Number eight. The dream season for this talented rookie started at Denver when he became the first African-American to win a top fuel race. Victories followed at Sonoma and Redding, and a runner-up finish in Las Vegas in October ensured his first visit to the Power A Top 10. Please welcome the driver of the Skullshine Dragster, J.R. Top. Number seven. This two-time champion raced to a runner-up finish at Englishtown, nearly keeping his Father's Day win streak intact and posted four semi-final appearances to earn his 12th consecutive Power A Top 10 appearance. Please welcome the driver of the Miller Lite Dragster, Larry Dixon. Number six. An emotional victory at the tradition-rich AC Delco Gator Nationals put the driver of the Strivecton SD Dragster on track to earn his fifth Power A Top 10 finish. The native Aussie also scored runner-up finishes at Las Vegas in April and Seattle. Please welcome Dave Grubnick. Number five. This talented driver continued to impress by racing to two victories in five final rounds. He scored wins at Phoenix and Englishtown and was runner-up at Bristol, Dallas, and Richmond. 
Making his second straight top 10 appearance, the driver of the David Powers Holmes Valvoline Dragster, Hot Rod Fuller. Number four. If not for two wins in the first five races this season, this driver earned major media attention throughout her year, including two ESPY nominations, Driver and Sportswoman of the Year. Her first Power 8 Top 10 finish, the driver of the Skullshine Noel Gas Torco Race Fuels Dragster, Melanie Troxel. Number three. This second-generation driver had his best season behind the wheel of the Budweiser Lucas Oil Dragster with four victories and seven final round appearances. A Texas native, he swept races at Houston and Dallas and claimed a key victory over Tony Schumacher at Brainerd. His third top ten appearance, please welcome Brandon Bernstein. Number two. With a category leading five victories, including wins at Bristol, Atlanta, Topeka, Chicago, and Memphis, Doug Coletta made another impressive charge toward a Power 8 World Championship. It's his third, second place finish and ninth consecutive top 10. The driver of the Mac Tools Dragster, please welcome Doug Coletta. two through ten in top fuel eliminator. And I know that was a very special moment for Doug and the team and I appreciate all that because that was a great season for that team and a tremendous finish. <laughs> Midway through the season, the battle for the top fuel championship really appeared to be a lock. But little did we know that it would turn into be a sensational battle between two of the best teams in the sport. But in the end, only one team can win. Only one can be the last team standing. And this team and this driver really epitomized the word champion. And they did it in one day and in one great performance. Congratulating the 2006 Power 8 Top Fuel Champion, the star, Tony Schumacher. I'll tell you, what do they call it? The run? The run. I feel that I've been blessed with being part of the single most exciting. Um, incredible suck it up moment ever. Winning a championship for Powerade and NHRA in the last 4.42 seconds of the season, that's a great moment. That's a big moment. You know, we live for the trophies, we live for the paychecks, but really, I think we mostly live for the challenge. You know, the, the 10,000 ways we had to lose and the one way to win and pulling that off that's simply a miracle I think for the army team give them the biggest round of applause you've ever presented before because those guys are a machine under pressure it's simply the best <laughs> And when it came down to the last run That moment was so big and I want Doug to know, and the whole team there, you guys, man, you make us have to be great. You guys, you're the greatest driver I've ever had the privilege of racing against. You will be a champ. You will stand up here one day, and I'll be the first to stand up and applaud you because you're a machine. <laughs> Got to recognize my guys. Stand up as I call your names, because you absolutely deserve to be recognized. Dallin Johnson, you're the man. There's nothing you can't do with a drag, sir. Unbelievable. 
Joe, Rich, Brian, Lanny, Jason, Roger, Nick and Randy, Jeremy and Ryan, everybody up. You guys were unbreakable. Outstanding. We're going to miss a few of you that are leaving, but you guys have been my heart, man. So much a pleasure to race with. I feel we are the best team ever. Without the sponsors, there's no way to do it. The United States Army, a lot of people. Let me go through some sponsors here that help us out. Parts and pieces that go on these race cars, you know, it's the people there too because people make parts. Parts don't make themselves, man. People make it happen, and we appreciate it. Oh, uh, Madco Tools, Gates, Belts and Hoses, Velspar, Trigicon, Valvoline, Torco, Brute, awesome teammates, Oakley. This was a pleasure this year, guys. I, uh, you just don't come from behind like that. And to watch the top 10 stand up here, there's no one you want to pick first, second, third round. You guys are bad to the bone. And that's what's making this sport so great. Thank you. Thanks to my beautiful family for giving us the chance to do this. And look forward to racing for the United States Army next year. Let's have us one heck of a party tonight. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Awards Ceremony. Welcome back to the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Awards Ceremony. It's been a wonderful night. We'd like to congratulate all the champions one more time for Andrew Hines, for Jason Line, John Forrest, and Tony Schumacher, ladies and gentlemen, our 2006 Powerade champions this season. We'd like to thank you all for coming out. We look forward to the 2007 season. On behalf of everyone from NHRA and Powerade, congratulations to the champions. Thanks for everybody. This is indeed the greatest sport of all. Thank you. Congratulations to all the drivers, teams, sponsors, and manufacturers that made this one of the most exciting Powerade Drag Racing Series in NHRA history. And thank you for joining us for the 2006 NHRA Powerade Drag Racing Series Awards Ceremony.